All right, class, today we are going to cover some of the stuff that we covered in previous lessons about the basics of reading in different clefs. And yesterday we covered treble clef and bass clef. And so basically, after today, we're going to be able to recite the order of notes, which I'm going to have you guys help me review in a minute, and then we're going to be able to identify them in the two clefs that we did yesterday. So, does anybody remember what the order of notes was? Parker. Starts with A. Starts with A. All right, what's next? B. It just goes A, B, C, D, all the way to G. All right, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Great. And then what happens if I want to like keep going up a staff? Like, what if I hit G and there's more notes above it? Does anybody remember? Yeah. You go back to A. To yeah, you just a. you just go from G and you're just going to recycle back to A and then you just repeat it all over again. Great. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I have some, I have a staff here, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and find a way so that we can memorize uh, the lines and spaces in this staff, depending on what clef we're in. So for the first clef, we're going to be in bass clef, which is for the lower pitched instruments, as we covered yesterday. So for every line, Remember, for every line, uh, as you go up it, if we're doing only lines, you're basically going to take our order of notes here, and we're going to just skip every other, right? So like if the first line was A, then the next line up would be C, because we would skip, so we'd go A, B, C, right? That makes sense? All right. But the first line is not A. Actually, the first line is G. So based on what we just covered, if this line is G, what's the next line up? Does anybody know? Yes? E. Uh, no, the next line is not E because you're actually going backwards, but what we're going to do is recycle and then skip one, right? So the next line would be? B. E. B, right. All right, and then the next line? D. E. D, yeah, correct. And then the line after that? F. F. <coughs> and then how about that top line, do you know? A. A, yes. Correct. Excellent. So, since we have all our lines labeled, let's do our spaces now. This space right here, if this is G, then the next the next note up is A. A, correct? So, spaces have the same thing going on. You're just going to skip every other letter, essentially, because we're, we've skipped over this note to get to this note. So, what's the next note after A in spaces? C. C, yes. And then the next one, E, and then the last space, G. G, correct. All right, great. Now, for base clef, you all have your paper out. What I want you to do is we're going to create what's called <coughs> we're going to create what's called a mnemonic, so that we're able to uh, to memorize the order of li uh, lines and spaces in base clef. So, if we're doing our mnemonic for lines, you need to create it sentence, basically, you're going to create a sentence that uses these letters for the first letter of every word. And it doesn't have to be like a full sentence or a rational sentence. Just make it something fun, something that will stick in your brain. Like the classic one is uh, like great big dogs fight animals. That's what somebody created. Now I want you to do something original, something that will help you remember the order of lines in base class. So go ahead and write down like these five letters and then write some words using those letters that kind of helps you remember the order of lines. Does anybody have anything that they think is witty or exciting or fun to share that I should? All right, who wants to who wants to share theirs? Yeah, go for it. George bought donuts for Amy. That's very nice of George. All right, all right, uh, Parker, what have you got? Uh, not much. I got ghostly fast dive forward always. All right, yeah. I mean, all right. Uh, anybody else want to share theirs? I had good boys do funny actions. All right, and? I said, gold boy didn't find it. 
<laughs> all right. I mean, there you go. All right. Now let's uh, let's do basically the same exercise, but let's do the uh, the spaces. So remember, we're using A, C, E, and G. So let's go for it again with uh, spaces this time. All right, Parker. What have you got? Yeah, Alfred carried elephants gregariously. Wow, <laughs> Alfred is incredibly strong. All right, uh, would anybody else like to share? I mean, I know it's a little tricky. Uh, Annie can't even go. <laughs> she just can't even go, great. All right, uh, anyone else? Always check every gutter. Yeah. She's good. She is good at this, all right. All right, Leah, what have you got? I said animals can eat good. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, hopefully that'll at least, those, those will help you memorize your lines and spaces for base stuff. Let's go over treble clef now, since we did it yesterday. So, treble clef, remember the order of notes is the same regardless of what clef you're in. So, treble clef, we're going to do lines again. The bottom line this time now is not actually uh, G like it was last time, but it's E. So, if we're going to do the same thing we did last time, the next line up from E. G. G, yes. And then the next line up? B. B. And then the next line up? D. And then the last one. F. All right, great. And let's do some spaces. The bottom space in treble clef is F, so that makes this one. A. Uh huh. And then this one? C. C. And then finally? D. You guys are really excellent at this. <laughs> All right. So we're going uh, to create some more mnemonics. And, I mean, the spaces is really easy in Trouble Clef because it spells space, but you still, I'm still going to make you make a mnemonic for it, but let's do lines first, so. And I'll actually write up the spaces also. So, go ahead and do lines first and then get a start on spaces if you have the time for it. All right, that's what it's going to be. You want to share it? I said every girl buys double fries. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, excellent. <laughs> Parker, you always have such good ones. You have nothing for this? I mean, it doesn't make much sense. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Let's hear it. Every gray bench destroys freedom. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense, but I mean, if it helps you remember, it helps you remember. Yeah, let's hear it. Every grandma blinks driving fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, all right, all right, and? Elephants go ball during fall. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good one. one. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right, Parker, you had one of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah let's hear it. I got fun animals carry elephants. <laughs> all right, all right. Does anybody else have the spaces yeah. down? Yes. Yeah? I said forever acting crazy everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. I drew a blank on that. You drew a blank on Yeah, it's, it's a little tricky. And Leah, did you have anything for this one? I can't think of an E. I'll roll with family and candy. Family and candy <laughs> and then just E. Yeah, all right. I mean, luckily that's the one where you can just remember face. It's pretty simple. But I figured mnemonics sometimes help people and they're pretty fun. So there you go.